Yes, uh, the main take home from the 2019 Nanny State Index is Finland is still top with a seemingly impregnable lead. Um, countries like Germany, uh, Austria, Slovakia, Luxembourg, uh, Spain, where we are today, um, are quite low down and much more liberal. Um, there isn't really any correlation between having a high nanny state index score and having better health outcomes, longer life expectancy, lower smoking rates, less drinking. Um, it, these things are mostly just costs with uh, no real benefit. Um, since we did the previous index in 2017, the main developments have been more and more countries are taxing e-cigarette fluid, more and more countries are banning vaping in um, bars, restaurants, workplaces and so on, and more and more countries are taxing sugary drinks. Um, taxation really is on the rise, that's a big message. Governments tend to like taxation for obvious reasons, and so public health campaigners tend to get um, the most uh, you know, receptive response from politicians. And we see that, and it just means that people on low incomes are hit really quite hard, the cost of living increases, and there is no measurable health benefit from any of it. Uh, well, it, it seems, broadly speaking, to be getting worse. We, we may have a sea change, the, the, we may reach a, a tipping point. I don't think a lot of this stuff is terribly popular, but of course the taxes do raise money for government, so they're always keen to expand and increase them. Um, there, there have been examples of liberalization. We have seen over the last five years a number of EU countries that had banned e-cigarettes now legalizing them. We've seen a few classic examples of unintended consequences from very high rates of taxation, a lot of cross-border shopping around Estonia, Latvia, Finland, which have led to Estonia reducing their alcohol taxes very significantly. We saw about 10 years ago Denmark repeal its fat tax because it had been a fiasco. So uh, eventually reality does catch up with some of these ideas, but they need to end in total disaster for governments to repeal them. The fact that they're just not very effective and not very popular usually isn't enough.